Hi guys, hope you're well. Today I'm very excited to give you a beautiful recipe. This is my crispy salmon tacos. This dish is delicious, it's nutritious, and it is super fast to do. And this recipe is from my brand new cookbook, Seven Ways. I'm super proud. Every chapter in the book is heroing an ingredient that you guys buy most weeks. And today, the salmon. Let's do this. So I've got a pack of small tortilla. For this recipe, I'm doing it for one, I just need two. Just five or six cherry tomatoes will give you one of your five fruit and veg a day. A spring onion. I'm using mango today, which I absolutely love, but you could swap that out for pineapple, kiwi, all of them work really, really well. And then we're gonna use avocado. For flavor, we're gonna use this brilliant little cheat. This is Cajun seasoning. It's about five or six different herbs and spices blended together. It's really, really nice. And that on meat and fish is fantastic. And then a little squeeze of lime. Okay, get a nice medium pan, non-stick, on a medium high heat. Take that salmon fillet, go to this thinner end, angle your knife, go down to the skin, and then flatten the knife out. It's super simple. When you take that skin off, now you can create an amazing crisp, and my kids absolutely love it. So in the pan, and the natural fat will cook out of it, so you won't need any oil in this pan at all. Use the length of the knife to cut this salmon fillet in half. That way you get two nice little fillets like that, and it will cook in half the time. So just sprinkle that Cajun seasoning over like that. Also a little sprinkling of salt and pepper, and then just move all around in that seasoning. And as you can see, when you just simply cut the salmon in half like that, that Cajun seasoning sticks to it really beautiful, and that will give you the most amazing flavor. So look, if you look at that salmon skin already, it's already bubbling, and if I move it around, can you see how it's leaving that fat in the pan? Lay the salmon fillet in like this. Now, if you want to do this for two portions, four portions, eight portions, it's super easy to prep up and have ready for a big family, no trouble at all. I quite like cooking this in batches of two to four portions at a time. It's super easy. Now, let's have a quick little clean down. Let's have a little look at the avocado. Put it on the board and then very carefully take the knife and run it around the stone, really gently. When the little lines join up, just simply click it like that. Beautiful, nice and easy. Now, get a spoon. This is a great little trick. Get the spoon in between the flesh and the skin and cup it out like that and you get a perfect half of avocado. I'm just gonna finely slice it like that. Next, we're gonna do the mango. Get that oval side facing you. Put your knife roughly in the middle, just to one side. It'll naturally hit the seed. So then angle the knife out and go around the seed and you'll get a half come off like that. Now we only need a nice little quarter for this recipe. Put the knife between the skin and the mango and run it down like that. That is an easy little tweak. Slice up the mango to give you kind of a rough dice. Now spring onion, finely slice, push that with your mango, give it a little lime juice. That'll just make it taste really, really good. So look at the salmon cooking. You see the heat creeping up. I wanna just turn over the salmon and look at that beautiful golden color. Look at that, gorgeous. And then the skin will turn that around as well. Look how crispy that skin's getting, really crispy. Now, tomatoes, just chop them up into little pieces about this size. Of course you could use any regular tomato. Okay, tortilla, just toss it over a gas hob or on a hot pan. You'll see it bubbling up, can you see that? And that'll just bring it back to life. I'm gonna take that mango and spring onion and just lay it across like that. You want every mouthful to kind of have all the flavors. And just take that chunk of fish, look at that. It flakes beautifully, it's wonderfully cooked. Then we got the skin, which is super crisp, right? Put that on the board and just let that cool down a little bit a little bit of the avocado. And then last but not least, if you want to get every little last bit of flavor out of that pan, take these tomatoes, pop them in the hot pan, and just shake them in all of the fat. That will just warm the tomatoes up, it will season them, and then you can just spoon that over the taco. Look at the colors, guys. Really pleased with that. And then with this crispy skin, right, you're gonna get the most amazing crackle out of it when I cut through it. Pop it on there like that. If you want to dress this up with a herb, you can. I've got a little bit of mint here, just beautiful. And then a nice little wedge of lime. So good, so quick, and what a picture, come on. Enough talking, let's have a try. Now if you look at this, come and have a look, we have the perfect little handful. Oh, look at the color, come on. Mmm. So good. It's so tasty. For me, that's what tacos are all about. Wow. So there you go, guys. That's my crispy salmon tacos from my brand new cookbook, Seven Ways. What are you waiting for? It's so good, it's so quick. 
No more boring salmon. Get down to Tesco, get the ingredients, have a cook up and enjoy.